guys so today I decided that I was going to film my March favorites so um, today I'm using all natural lighting which is crazy because normally the Sun is never like beaming like this way like towards me I don't even know how to describe it but I'm really excited because I have a couple of favorites this month that I've really really been loving and if you guys haven't tried them out already you should after I show you guys what they are so um, yeah, so I have a couple of makeup products. I guess we'll start off with them first. Like massive beads outside my window. Like they're like this big. They're not inside. <laughs> right. But anyways, um, my second mascara I've been loving is the Falsies from Maybelline. This mascara is so great. It has a really good curl with it because the wand is kind of like, um, curved. Um, but my lashes, sadly, don't hold a curl. So it really sucks for me when I'm trying to, like, curl my eyelashes and they don't want to stay curled. Really makes me mad. But, um... Yeah, I have a couple of lip products that have been my favorite of this month. So last Thursday I picked up the MAC Lipstick in Snob. I've heard a really lot of good things about it. This is like an everyday pink lipstick and I think it's gorgeous. I'm not wearing it right now, but um, yeah, so it's like an everyday pink color and um, I absolutely love it. Um, I actually really like the girl that actually helped me out. Um, I forgot her name, but she knows that I make videos. So hi, if you're watching this, I don't know your name, but <laughs> um, yeah, so... I've been loving this lipstick, it's my favorite, and um, yeah, it's a lot to get used to because I don't really wear like outstanding colors and like glosses and stuff, but I've also been loving my Max Luster Glass in Luster White. My boyfriend's mom gave this to me, I guess she didn't even like using it. So um, I've been using this over top of Snob, and it looks really nice, and I sometimes wear this over um, this lipstick that I'm about to show you. Um, I've been loving my Revlon Lip Butter in Lollipop. This color is really bright, but when you dab it on your lips and then kind of like blend it in, um, it kind of like turns out more of like a tinted pink color. So that's what I have on my lips right now, and I've been loving this. Um, you guys can see that it is like a massive bright color, but um, it does look good on my lips when I wear it. So um, I've been loving the Maybelline Tattoo color tattoo and badge of the bronze. I've been wearing this on my lid as the base and then I wear my um, Rimmel Trio over it and it looks really nice and natural. So here's what it looks like. I really like the natural look for the spring. That's just me. I don't really know. I just really like settled eyeshadow. I don't like wearing like black smoky eyes all the time. Like I wear it every once in a while but not every day. So um, I've been loving my Line Stiletto from Maybelline because I really my Studio MAC Tech Foundation. I think that's what it's called. This one is in NW20. I forgot to show you guys yesterday in my video. But um, I've stepped up in a color. I was NW15. You guys saw in my other MAC Foundation. This one. Um, this is the Studio Sculpt. I was in NW20, but now I'm in NW15. I mean, NW15, but now I'm in NW20. So this foundation includes using a um, foundation brush or a um, stippling brush. The girl at MAC was amazing. Um, actually, a different girl. Not the girl that gave me the lipstick, but the girl that sold me this. Um, this stuff is amazing. Um, it really blends into your skin, and it's really my color. I kind of look a little bit orange because I don't like putting foundation down my neck because it always like looks awkward. Maybe I should try that. But this is what it looks like. And, um, yeah, I, I just apply it with my foundation brush. Um, I use the e.l.f. foundation brush because it's a lot thinner and I feel like it doesn't absorb all the product. So, um, sorry if this is not focused. That's what I hate about Canons is that they don't auto-focus unless you get the T4i, but I don't have the T3i. So, anyways, I've been loving this foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations I've ever purchased. I've also been loving my CoverGirl powder. This is the um, loose powder. I just use this as like a setting powder to um, use this little powder brush that I got, and I just kind of like dust it all over my face. Um, kind of just set my foundation, not really like to cake it on like I did the Stay Matte powder. My favorite is hair. Um, so I have been loving my L'Oreal um, Color Vibrancy Shampoo. I haven't dyed my hair yet this month, but I bought hair dye. So this is the L'Oreal's 5.6 Dark Red. Um, I've tried this. I've never tried this before, so I wanted to try it out because it's a dollar cheaper than the one at um, Target. So I just want to try this one out. But this will help um, keep the shampoo the shampoo will help keep the color in my hair because you guys can see my roots are already growing out. And, um, yeah, so to go with that, I have been not washing my hair every day. I wash it every other day because uh, I'm on spring break right now and I'm kind of just relaxing at my house and filming. So I'm not really going anywhere, so I don't need to wash my hair every day because I'm not dirtying my hair at home. So I've been loving my Tresemme's Fresh Start dry shampoo. Comment below in the comments and let me know of a better um, dry shampoo than this one because this one has kind of like a funky smell, but I do like it because it does um, absorb the oil. I do have like a powder one, but 
I don't really know really how to work that one, so I don't. My Nourishing Coconut Milk. This is the anti-breakage serum. This stuff smells amazing, and it makes my hair really, really soft, and I feel like it does kind of work my hair, make it more um, strong. So I've been loving this. I have been loving my Clean & Clear Exfoliating Scrub. Um, this is Cool Refreshing Tingle. This stuff, I've been through like eight of these bottles, like legit. This is really cheap, and it works really good. I love the face. Um, the feeling when you take off your makeup and your face is just like tingling. Love that feeling. It's so refreshing. Really, really, really been obsessed with this. This is the um, Else Mineral Infused Face Primer. This stuff works really good for me because it's not oily. The um, the one that I absolutely hate is this one. This is the Hard Candy one. It's so oily that you just blend forever. This one is kind of like a... Um, I'll pump it on the back of my hand for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pump it on my hand. It's more like a gel, not a nasty whatever you want to call it but um yeah so I've absolutely been loving that and it really helps my foundation stay on and when I was talking to the lady at MAC about um because I was going to get the primer too but I just ended up getting the foundation instead of their um prep and prime um whatchamacallit primer um she was saying how when you apply a face primer your foundation goes on a lot smoother than it does without a face primer so I definitely would recommend getting a face primer and this one is only six dollars I would recommend ordering 90% of your stuff that you get from elf go online because at Target they don't always have everything so um, just to be safe just order online but um, this is only six dollars so if you're looking for a good face primer I would definitely go check this out loving my clear pore um, oil eliminating this is affecting treatment. It helps prevent breakouts without over drying. I lost this stuff. I actually didn't lose it. Okay, when I moved to this new house, I packed this in my um, bathroom box and I just found it. So um, I've been loving this. I ran out of my um, proactive toner, so I'm using this one. So I think it's like $8 at Target. But you might want to try Walmart because they might be cheaper. But um, I do like this stuff a lot. I'm not sure if I told you guys I hate reading, but um, I've been. I have to read a 500 page book for English and um, so I picked this book, it's The Help, it's by Katherine Stockett and I just started reading it. I'm only on page like 10 I think but um, this book is amazing, I love it and um, it's actually kind of sad. I'm going to watch the movie after I read the book but yeah so and then I've also been loving this Keep Holding On by Susan. Kosalanti. I'm not really sure how to say her name, but I've been loving these books. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I love all these favorites. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. Leave, please leave a request, and um, I have a couple of more videos coming up, so just stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.